Hello everyone, it's me, Rob. Now, I know you are waiting to see your Draw With Rob video, but I just wanted to pop up for a second at the beginning just to tell you about something really exciting. It's the new Draw With Rob at Christmas activity book. I think you're really gonna like this. It's full of festive, fun things to do over the Christmas period. We have, we start off with an arty advent, so it's something for you to do, a little drawing-y thing for you to do every single day from the 1st of December right up until the 24th. What else is there there? You can make your own Christmas cards, make your own Christmas decorations. I've got like a template for a letter to Father Christmas so you can tell him what you want for Christmas. We have lots of jokes to put inside Christmas crackers or to put around the table on Christmas day. I even have a little thing where you can make up a little gift box in there and you can color it in whatever colors you like. And parents, there's thank you card templates in there. So no excuse not to write thank you cards. Of course, it's full of all the draw-alongs and puzzles that you found in the first book too. Not the same ones, different ones, festive ones. We've got a Santa draw-along, we've got an elf draw-along, we've got snowman draw-along, loads and loads of things. So listen, I think you're gonna like it. It's available from wherever you get your books. So check it out. And if you like it, do let me know using that Draw With Rob hashtag. Now, on to your Draw With Rob video. Have fun everyone, and I'll see you in a second. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob with me, Rob Bidolf. There I am with my friend Ringo in my Christmas hat because this is another festive edition of Draw With Rob. Oh, it's not long now, is it, till Christmas? Who's excited? Hands up if you are excited. I'm super excited. Right, so as I said, my name is Rob Bidolf. You might know me from books like this one, Show and Tell. It's a fun one. This says here, school has never been so much fun. It's all about a class of children who bring in crazier and crazier and crazier things for show and tell. Look, Betty there starts off with her tin of bright blue spaghetti. Charlie, has got a really cool pirate ship hat. There we go. Darcy with her gold violins and look, it gets crazy and crazier. Quinn brings in the fastest racing car in the world. Rebecca, her pet alligator. Oh, I nearly showed you the end there, didn't I? Look at this one though. William has brought in the Great Pyramid of Giza and the Sphinx. <gasps> Crazy, it's a really fun one. I like that one. Maybe you've seen this one. It's something called Draw with Rob, the activity book. I don't know, maybe some of you have seen it, maybe some of you haven't. I just haven't shown you it for a while, so I thought I'd show you it again. It's a good one. It's a good stocking filler, this one, isn't it? Lots of things to do, design hats. There we go, for some of, the, some of your favorite Rob Bidolf characters. Lots of the old draw-alongs are in there, so you can keep them forever. All the pages are perforatable. Perforatable, perforated, I don't know what the word is. But once you've done your little drawings, you can tear them out, stick them up on the wall. Loads of puzzles, loads of draw-alongs. You know the drill, lots of things to do there. So that's where you might know me from. But we are here today. Oh, by the way, what do you think of this lovely background? It's good, isn't it? It's good. It's the odd dog at Christmas. <gasps> now there's a good idea for a book. An odd dog Christmas book. Who thinks that would be a good idea? I do. Well, you never know what might happen. Watch this space. <laughs> right, we're here to do a drawing, aren't we? You're not here to just listen to me witter on for ages and ages. And I thought that today we would draw a reindeer. What do you think? One of Father Christmas's reindeer. I thought it might be a nice idea. So this is how it works, just in case you have never seen one of these videos before. Lots of children tell me that they can't draw. I say, that's a load of rubbish. Of course you can draw. You just need a little bit of help with the order that we do the drawings in. So this is how it works. I do a little bit of the drawing here. We draw a little simple shape. Then you pause the video and you copy what I do. Then you start the video up. I draw a bit more. Then you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, we're gonna end up with a really fabulous drawing of a reindeer. Maybe you could even cut this drawing out, stick it to some card and hang it from your Christmas tree with all your Christmas decorations. Have you put your tree up yet? We have, we put our tree up a while ago. I love our Christmas tree. Do you know what? I thought I might show you some of my favorite Christmas tree decorations. Have you got favorite decoration? Can you believe some people don't even have a favorite Christmas tree decoration? Isn't that crazy? Of course, I've got two favorites. Would you like to see them? The first, is this one. Isn't that cool? 
it's a little penguin blue. You know, penguin blue from my books, Blown Away and Sunk. I think, do you know what? I think my mum found this and bought it for us years ago when that book first came out. It's really cool. It's one of my favorites, one of my daughter's favorites too. So much so, can you see? He's lost a flipper. He's lost one of his feet. I don't know where it is. Maybe Ringo got hold of it last year. Who knows, but I love this decoration. Now, speaking of Ringo, my second favorite decoration is <gasps> this one isn't it cool <laughs> i got it made last year isn't that tragic a ringo decoration isn't it lovely look and it says 2019 your very first christmas i don't know why we wrote that because as far as i know ringo can't read but hey isn't that cool a ringo decoration there we go <laughs> Anyway, where was I? Yes, we were going to do a drawing together, weren't we? That's right, we we're going to do a drawing of a reindeer. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, something to draw with, or a pencil, whatever you've got. We might want to do a bit of colouring a bit later on. That might be fun. So if you've got some coloured pencils or felt tips, grab them now. And let's make a start, shall we? Right. So the first thing that we are going to do in this drawing is about three quarters of the way up your page, in the middle, we are going to start a small little arch like a lowercase n like that nice and easy then from the bottom left side of that n we are going to come across in a horizontal line not too far a few centimeters something like that then we're going to turn and head down our page again not very far we're going to turn again and we're going to head very slightly downhill for about a centimetre or so, something like that. So, a fairly easy shape so far. Curve, line, turn, turn. Nice and easy. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is inside this, this very first little arch shape we did, we're going to draw a smaller arch like that. And we're going to do a line across the bottom. Like that. Then over here, we are going to draw a little vertical line and a little horizontal line, just in the corner of that shape, like that. Next, we are going to draw one of my famous swirly whirly bits, Ooh. like that. Okay, then in the middle of this point and this point, right in the middle, I want you to draw a circle. And inside that circle, I want you to do a little dot just right of center. Oh, something has just woken up, hasn't it? Something is alive. <laughs> could it be our reindeer? I think it could. This is our reindeer's eye. This is our reindeer's nose. And this is our reindeer's ear. So now what I want you to do is around the eye I want you to add lots of little lines. Little reindeer eyelashes. Just like that. Let's give our reindeer a little mouse. So just mouse, not mouse. I don't even know if reindeers even eat mice. Mouth. That's what I meant to say. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's give our reindeer a little mouth. Okay, so just above this point where we finished drawing that line I want you to draw a very small smiley mouth, like that. Okay, the next thing to do is we're gonna go back up to the ear, so the point where we started, and we're just gonna extend this line down, about that far, maybe a little bit further, so five or six centimeters, something like that. And then when we've done that, we are gonna change our direction. We're gonna head off in over here. So towards sort of four o'clock, I would say. About the same length, maybe a little bit longer. Just like that. So we're going off downhill. And then when we get to the end, we're just gonna change our mind and head off back uphill, but only a tiny little bit, like that. Let's go back over to this side, shall we now? What I want you to do here is we are gonna add a tiny little bit of zigzagginess, a bit like the edge of a Christmas tree. Let's keep everything festive, shall we? Only that far, maybe two centimeters. And then we're gonna go back into a straight line 
like that. We're gonna head down our page. We're gonna go past where we finished up here to about there. So roughly that far. Now I've done a thicker line there, so I'm just gonna make this bit slightly thicker so that it all blends in nicely. There we go. Oh, our little reindeer is really starting to take shape. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to turn at right angles and head back across here, but we're gonna stop roughly level with the back of our reindeer's neck, like that. Then once, once we've done that, we're gonna go back down. You know, quite a long way down, maybe five centimeters. I'm just guessing at these distances. It doesn't really matter if this is gonna be one of our reindeer's legs, you see. Some reindeer may have longer legs than others. So it doesn't matter how long it is really. Then let's turn around there, a little short line, and head back up to draw one of our reindeer's legs. Turn around again, we're gonna head back along towards this bit, which is our reindeer's tail. There we go, I'll tell you that. Then we're gonna go back down, same length as that, turn again, and we're gonna join up. Two of our reindeer's legs. Now this bit looks a bit funny now, doesn't it? This sort of right angle bit. Why did you do that? Well, because we are gonna draw another leg coming down there. We're about the same length. And you see, it looks like it's behind that bit of his tummy, so it makes the drawing look slightly 3D. And then we're gonna add another one just in here like that. And if you stop them very slightly, can you see I've stopped them very slightly above those legs, because they're slightly in the distance, they would be slightly, they would look like they were slightly shorter because of a thing called perspective, you see. Let's give our reindeer some hooves. We're doing a very simple drawing here. We're just gonna add some little black square bits, just like that, to each of these legs. Just to give our reindeer some very simple stylized hooves. And there we go. We're almost there with our reindeer. There's just one thing that we haven't drawn. The antlers. Reindeer are very famous for these big old antlers, aren't they, that they have. So, shall I show you how we, I draw the reindeer antlers? The very first thing that I do is, just next to the ear, I want you to draw two little vertical lines that are about half the height of the ear, just like that. And then coming from the top of the right hand one, just turn right at a right angle like that. And imagine that line goes straight through the ear, continues all the way along here until we get roughly level with the tail. And then when we do that, we're just gonna start to curve upwards a little bit like that. Not far, just a little bit. Then we are gonna go out again in a curve this time we're going to turn around and we're going to come back to the point that we started. Then we're going to keep on going up and around. Then let's turn around, change our mind, and follow the path back towards the beginning. But before we get there, about halfway, we're going to stop again. Then do you know what? We're going to turn back on ourselves and we're going to head up, maybe a little bit higher. And those are funny things, aren't they? What are reindeer antlers made of? Anybody know? I don't know. Once again, I haven't done my research before I started drawing. I think it's about time for an education station. There we go. That is what reindeer antlers are made of. Fascinating Christmas fact. Tell everybody that around the Christmas dinner table. They'll be so impressed at your general knowledge. <laughs> right. So yes, reindeer antlers, they can be all sorts of random shapes. So I'm just showing you one example of the sort of branchy, shapey things that I think we can do, but feel free to do your own designs. Right, we're gonna now come back down here. We're gonna carry on. We're gonna go just past the ear, I think, and then I'm gonna turn back up. I'm gonna add another little branchy bit here. I'm gonna go up, this time I'm gonna go up, do a little sort of Y shape, I think, something like that. Head back down, so I'm level with this line. And then finally, let's go back up here. Let's round our antlers off around there. Turn back around, and we're just gonna join back up with the other vertical line that we did. 
and there we go. Our reindeer really is starting to take shape. Now, you know the way that we did the legs, so we did one front leg and then we did this sort of, these legs behind. We're gonna do the same with the ear. He needs another ear or she, no, he. If you have antlers, do you, is it only the male reindeer that have antlers? I don't know. Again, education station. Is it only the male reindeer that have antlers? There's your answer. It's quite handy this, not doing your research and then just being able to put it all in afterwards. But anyway, this is a male reindeer. I'm gonna say this is, hang on, what is there? What are the names of the reindeers? Donna, uh, there's, hang on, Rudolph. I don't think Rudolph was an official reindeer, was he, Rudolph? So there was Donna, Blitzen, Dasher, Dancer, uh, Prancer. How many is there? Oh no, it's gonna be another education station, isn't it? I can't believe it. I've done so many of these. All right, here we go. There's the names of all Santa's reindeer. Which one did I forget? I'm sure I forgot at least one, maybe two. But anyway, I think this one is gonna be Dasher. Hi, Dasher. So Dasher needs another ear. So what we're gonna do, just to the left of the antlers, where the antlers join the head, just gonna do two more little vertical lines, about the same width as that ear, and we'll do a little two thin ones in between to just suggest that that ear is tucked in behind the antlers. Okay, time to colour, because I think we're pretty much done now. Now, obviously, you can do whatever colour reindeer you like. I'm probably going to stick to the traditional colours, as is my want. I usually do that, don't I? So brown, I think my reindeer is going to be, but feel free to do a bright blue one if you want, covered in spots, rainbow stripes, who knows, whatever you want, it's up to you. Um, you can even add a red nose if yours is going to be Rudolph. That might be fun. Um, okay, I'm going to colour. Right, so I will see you back here. I'm going to go into super speed mode, as I always do, and I'll see you back here in about 30 seconds. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. There we go. My finished, coloured in, festive reindeer. What do you think? Should we sign it? Let's sign our drawings. Don't forget to sign yours. These Christmas ones, I'm adding a little sprig of holly to my signature, like that. There we go, nice and festive. So, I hope you had fun drawing yours and colouring yours in. What we need you to do now is get your grown up to take a picture of your drawing. And then if they post a picture of that drawing on social media using the draw with Rob hashtag, that way I'll get to see your lovely Christmassy pictures. And any teachers who want to get their class to hold up their drawings of reindeer, they can do that, take a picture and then tag that picture with this hashtag class of the week. Also use the draw with Rob, Rob hashtag and then I will choose a picture and I will choose which class of the week I like best and you will get a little certificate, there we go, a little certificate um, to show that your class is the class of the week, that might be fun. Um, so yes, ah, oh, I think, because it's Christmas, I think I need to give whew, my little magic Christmas fingers a go, don't we, don't I even. Shall I see if I can make this a bit more of a Christmassy scene. This reindeer has a very important job to do on Christmas Eve, doesn't he? Dasher here. Is this Dasher? Did I say Dasher? I think I did. Dasher here has got a very important job to do with his friends. So do you know what? I think he needs to get ready in his sleigh pulling gear and get a few of his friends together and maybe even the sleigh too. What do you think? Shall I see if I can do it? Let's see. One, two, three. Wow. Look at that. Look at that Christmas scene. Just like magic, isn't it? Listen, I'm gonna be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, I want you all to take care of yourselves, enjoy the Christmas period, and I'm gonna see you very soon. Bye everyone.